Let's take a look at capillary refill. What does it tell us? Where do we find it? What information can we glean from it? So capillary refill is basically when we squash blood from the capillaries in the body and allow them to refill via the pumping and pressures of the heart and blood. The main four areas for capillary refill are the tips of the fingers, the tips of the toes, the forehead and the centre of the chest. The tips of the finger and the tip of the toe is mainly used in adults. The tip of the forehead and the tip of the chest is mainly used in children but can be used on adults as well. When we squeeze the blood from the distal capillaries, the heart and the pressures inside of the body will refill that capillary blood vessels and that capillary bed and it should take no more than two seconds to refill. It's a very, very good, quick and easy and simple way to check patient's blood pressure, developing shock, but there are a few things that we need to take into consideration. Cold hands and feet for one. If the hands are cold and the feet are cold, blood draws back to the core and consequently makes the actual technique a little bit unreliable, unreli but we have to take that into consideration. So temperature is important. Light is another. It's very, very difficult to see cap refill effectively in dark light conditions. So again, it's a, it's a system that needs to be used in decent light or with floodlit areas where you can actually see what you're doing and see the proper colour and re-capillary filling of that area. So taking capillary refill, it's taken from the furthest point from the heart, the tip of the finger or the tip of the toe. We then apply pressure over the nail, squeezing firmly to squeeze blood from the capillary bed. We then release and the colour rushes back in to fill the capillary bed, changing the colour from white back to pink. This should take no longer than two seconds. We've talked about capillary refill and perfusion on the fingertips, but it's also used in other areas as well, one of those being the toes. It doesn't only check blood pressures and circulation, but it also tells us whether there is good blood flow past an injury, past a bandage, or past a tourniquet, or anything that is occluding blood vessels. It may be a fracture, a dislocation, a break, a stabbing, or even we've put a bandage on too tight and we're not allowing blood flow past the bandage, which means that we're going to have a problem with the limb if we don't sort it out. So it's a very, very good indicator of flow and pressures and blockages with limbs, fractures, breaks. Capillary refill is also used very effectively on children. However, we don't tend to use the fingers and toes on children because they're so small and difficult to actually see the capillary refill taking place. We tend to use the forehead or the chest. Children are always nice and pink and well perfused. So if we press on the forehead gently or on the chest gently, we get exactly the same effect that we get on an adult on the finger or the toe. The area goes white, you take your finger away, the area refills with blood, becomes reperfused and goes nice and pink. On a cap refill on a child, on the forehead and on the chest, this refilling time should be less than one second. On an adult, fingertips and toes, it should be below two seconds.